Flea Hallows Part 2. Please welcome the lovely Emma Watson. <laughs> Gosh, Emma Watson, look what a beautiful girl. She, she is really the chicest is young lady. Yes, out absolutely. There. On they the really cover are. of Vogue magazine. <gasps> look know. at that picture right there. Now, well. is that a lifelong dream for you, or certainly when you get into the, you know, the movie industry? Yes, definitely. I being on the cover of Vogue was, yeah, was a huge, 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 sure huge moment for absolutely. me. Absolutely. I was, uh, I was nervous for that day. Um, yeah. But uh, it was great. Did when, you learn anything when about a photography or about a photo? Like I feel like every time we take our have a, our picture yeah, taken, which is once every seven years. Yeah, um, I learned <laughs> something stay new. In touch with the public. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you learn anything? Well, Mario Testino, who shot the cover. Mm. Um, Said that I had a better side, but I can't remember which side it is now. <laughs> so I'll I, tell you. Keep going. Yeah. Is it this, this one? one? Is it this one? Which one's on the cover? We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. I just go on and um, figure that one out. But yeah, apparently. Well, you've grown up into a beautiful woman now. I remember when you were a little girl and you came on our show for the very first time for the very first Harry Potter movie, and you were 10 years old, I believe, I was, right? Yeah. And you, guess what? You were a lovely 10-year-old. Oh, yes. thank you. Just like you're yeah. a lovely adult. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I was, I was nervous, yeah. I were was, you nervous? I think New York was, um, was overwhelming. Sure. I mean, I absolutely love it. I love it now, and I, I, I really want to live here, actually. But, um, you know, I think at the time, it was just kind of Well, like, sure, you're wow. 10 years old, and... Yeah. And you're with Regis. I know. Oh, I know. Know. <laughs> Talk about terrifying. That was what made me the most nervous, really. <laughs> And then you wound up going to, uh, to college here in America. I did. A and uh, now, are you going to complete your last year abroad somewhere? Yes, I have two years left, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do one year, um, one year back home in Oxford, so a home abroad, and then uh, and then come back and do my. And what are you majoring in? I forgot. English and history. English and history. Yeah, good it's for you. It's changed about a little bit over the years, but English. Yeah, history. sure. You really never know, you know, when you start a, a course if that's what you really want. But these are two good uh, good areas. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I've got it. Do you well, have do you see yourself outside of the entertainment industry doing something else? It's funny, for a while I thought maybe I might end up doing something different and then I just went and did this movie called The Perks of Being a Wallflower we shot in Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania mm. and uh, I just had the best time and uh, you know having an experience outside of Potter that was just as great really kind of solidified for me that acting was really what I wanted to do and sure. really focus on and absolutely um, and so, yeah, Pittsburgh is great isn't it? Pittsburgh is awesome! Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I had the I had the best six weeks. Um, Do you know what the Pittsburgh so Pirates friendly. have done this year? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Is it what the best year in, in twenty years? Yeah. yeah. Really, genuinely? Absolutely. Wow. I really mean that. Um, awesome. No, I'm glad you made the movie there. That's good. Yeah, good for no, their economy great. there. So um, you made other little movies in between the Harry Potter films, right? Little ones. I did a movie called The Tale of Despero, um, which was which was really fun, and I just. There's another little film called My Week with Marilyn, which will be out this fall as no well. No kidding. Boy, well, she's yeah. hot, isn't she? A lot of stuff going well, on. Well, you know, I try. I try. <laughs> Have um, you seen Daniel in uh, How to Succeed here in uh, Broadway? I did. I came and saw him a couple of months ago. It, he's incredible, isn't he's he? He's incredible. That guy, I, I, I don't know how he does it. I just like... I would never have the balls to go on Broadway <laughs> and sing. Excuse and me. Let, let me just check that word out in both. <laughs> And he did such a great job, and he's so funny. And but it seems to me all of you young guys had all that kind of talent. You yeah. could go, if it was a musical you had to be in, you could do that. If it was a drama, you could do that as well. Well, thank you. That's really nice. I mean, I, yeah, I just, um, I was just fishing it in around his Harry Potter schedule as well is incredible. And he, you mm -hmm. know, he's, he's great. Do you see yourself coming to Broadway, maybe doing some theater I here? I would love to come to Broadway and do some theater. Oh, that would just be Would incredible. you do a straight play? or? I would love... I would love to do Shakespeare on Broadway. That would be mm. a real dream for mm -hmm. me. I've always wanted to do, you know, I don't know, to do a Shakespeare, like a Hamlet or a Roman. But you know, you've got so many years ahead of you. That's I the beautiful know, part of so it. it's so exciting. And I feel like that's the coolest thing about watching this movie is I was like, wow, I've really learned something. And it's, it's exciting to, you know, I feel like I've just graduated from like, the most incredible film school and I'm just excited to take everything that I've learned. Well, it and really has been incredible. You're that. absolutely right. More with Emma when we come back. Emma 
Michelle Watson playing Hermione for the last time, huh? Oh, You're going to miss this character? Don't say that. I, I'm going to miss this character so much. You fall in love with your character ever. I mean, all these mo all these years together playing her, you know? Absolutely. And she gets to do such cool stuff. I mean, in this last movie, I got to fly a dragon. I got to, uh, you know, I got to have some serious wand battles. I got to fly on a broomstick. I mean, what other movie am I going to do where I get to do this stuff? Plus, she's such a hard worker, Hermione. Like, she's plucky. You really feel for her. She always wants to do the, the best the right she can thing. Yeah, she's yeah, like so she's, right, you know. Yeah, her sense really. of, she has, a, she has a very strong sense of justice and what's right and she's, yeah. Was this your first film when, uh, the, when you began ten years ago? This was my when you first were 10 years movie old. role. Can really? you imagine? Uh, it's ridiculous. You know, <laughs> first part we I ever with, get. We were with the Grint Man the other day you, you know? with the great man yes and we asked the great man how did you get the role and he said i i sent in a tape for something else he rapped he, he a was rap. a rapper yeah, oh, yeah he sent it in I and because he looked like that I character they brought him it. in and he got yeah. the role how did yeah. you get your role um i they they came to my school which wasn't actually a drama or an acting school and um my drama teacher um Everyone at the time did like did like one class that so we were in kind of this rotation thing, and uh, and and put me forward for it. And the someone who was auditioning took my photograph and said, you know, would you mind if I took your picture? Um, got a call three weeks later asking if I'd come to London for an audition for a proper one. And then I did I did sort of eight or nine, tried out with different Harrys and uh, and and got the role. Wow. But I never I, it wasn't something that I pursued. Course, it's just yeah. kind of like they isn't that incredible? found me. It's a great story, you know, isn't it? It's really amazing. amazing. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, I just got really crazy lucky. Really, and now, really, really do you get lucky. to keep anything like your robe, your Hogwarts robe? Is there any like souvenir that you took and said, "I have to keep this for my"? I feel so scared talking about what I get to keep because I keep, I keep, I keep having nightmares that someone's breaking into my house in London right. as I speak, trying but, to find what I'm saying. But we all but know your souvenir is kept in a safe, safe in a bank. Yes. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere <laughs> in a very far away country. Um, no, I got to keep my robe mm. and my wand, and I kept my time turner. Aww. No, that's nice. Yeah. So You'll have that for the rest of your life, huh? Yeah. Eh? Welcome back to show you a clip from Harry Potter when we return. Emma Watson. Her, uh, her last day was on the set, of course, when she made this, uh, this new film. Was it a sad day for you to kind of end up uh, this 10-year uh, yeah, relationship? Yeah, it, uh, it was incredibly emotional. I mean, we filmed all the movies in the, in the same film studio. We, a lot of the crew were there from the very first one, you know, had known me since, have known me since I was sort of 9 or 10 years old. Um, it's been 12 years. Uh, I mean, it was like, it was incredibly emotional. And when you yeah. all finally said goodbye and went your separate ways. Yes. Tough, huh? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a weird adjustment. I have to try and figure out my life without sort of, I mean, my whole life has revolved around these movies. Sure. I can't remember a time when I wasn't part of these movies and, and being this character. So, um, but it's exciting. Sure I'm, it is. I'm, it feels like I get a fresh start. Or Absolutely. You've all handled it really beautifully. I have Thank to say, you. from our point of view, Thank watching, you. Mm. you know, the entire cast grow up um, from kids to adults, you've all done it beautifully. Thank you. That's, re yeah. that's really kind of you to say. Um, I think we've been lucky that, you know, we've had each other and mm -hmm. uh, we, we really love, we've really loved the whole, the whole experience and um, it's just been incredible really well we have a clip to show everybody now here you are Hermione and Harry and Ron you all realize that Lord Voldemort yes knows what they've been up to yes. and that's not good it's take bad. a look at this it's really really bad he knows you know who he knows we broke into Gringotts he knows what we took and he knows we're hunting all crises how is it you know I saw him you let him in Harry you can't do that Hermione I can't always help it well, maybe I can, I don't know. Never mind what happened. Well, he's angry and scared too. He knows if we find and destroy all the Horcruxes, we'll be able to kill him. I reckon he'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't find the rest. Oh, there's more. One of them's at Hogwarts. What? You saw it? I saw the castle. Androina Ravenclaw. It must have something to do with her. We have to go there now. What? We can't do that. We've got to plan. We've got to figure it out. Hermione. When have any of our plans ever actually worked? We plan, we get there, all hell breaks loose. 
<laughs> Very cold that day. Freezing. watching that scene. Mm. That yeah. scene made me cold. It was absolutely <laughs> freezing. I and, was miserable. It was so cold. Good luck with your future. <laughs> You've had a wonderful, you. wonderful <laughs> 10 years. Harry Potter and uh, Deathly Hollows part two in the theaters on Friday. Goodbye, Emma. Thanks, baby. Nice being here. Fix my man, this. With a dance lesson. Right back.